Hey, what's up guys? So today is the four month update for Maximus. We're gonna be going over a few things that he has started doing, a couple of his favorite little toys and his measurements and everything else. But the measurements will all be last, so you guys have to continue watching in order to know about it. So, so first off, our little man is still not rolling yet. Well, he rolled that one time, but... Yeah, just that once. We can say this part of his measurements, they measured his head and he's in like the 90th percentile. I don't know the exact number, but I know he's in the 90s for his head circumference. And the doctor actually said that <clears throat> His head is big, so that could have an impact on why he's not rolling quite yet. And he definitely got his head size from me because of the brain factor, so. Okay, but one thing that we had bought him from Walmart, because we didn't know what kind of baby toys we should get him or what he would be interested in, but he absolutely loves this little rattle. Just not right now. This was like not even five dollars at Walmart, and he grabs onto it, he bites it, he tries to shake it. The funny thing is with it, he'll grab onto it the right way, but he'll try to shake it because he hears the noise, but he'll hit himself in the head. We just got him this munch mitt, and what you do with it is you put it on their hand because you could go on either one and it has a little velcro strap that you velcro on and the white part of it crinkles and the green part has little bumps and lines on it for teething great thing that he likes is his pacifier now he just started taking it probably about five days ago i have no idea what these little things are called but you tie them to your pacifier and you clip them to their shirt they are lifesavers he has become so much more vocal and he is discovering all types of little sounds that he can make. One of the cutest little noises that he makes is he growls and it's just his very deep, cute baby growl. And he does that pretty often. But he also screeches. He screams so loud and high pitched and it kind of scares us sometimes. <laughs> He's been a little fussy the last 24 hours because he got his immunizations for his four months. So I think his legs are still a little bit sore. He's been sleeping through the night most of the time. But the last, I would say, maybe three days, he has not. So he has definitely slept through the night. And he sleeps from about, I would say, 10 p.m. to 10 a.m., but he wakes up a couple of times just to nurse. But the last couple of days, he has, I guess, had a few bad nights because he has not slept very good. And, for example, last night after his shots, I only got two hours of sleep. He has gotten to the point where if you're laying with him or cuddling with him, he'll lay his arm on you or just touch you. But if you break that physical contact he wakes up and he freaks out so sleeping has been very difficult because I don't sleep with him like touching me next to me on me cuddling or anything so it's been a real struggle but the one thing that has definitely helped him sleeping has been this cute little bunny so what we'll do is if he's sleeping next to me and he's touching me We'll slip this under his hand, so as I'm moving out, he starts moving around a little bit and opening his hands and reaching. He'll grab this instead of grabbing absolutely nothing. And ever since we started doing that, it's almost like when we do put this in his arms, he immediately feels comforted. And plus, it's super adorable. His godfather got it for him, and it's the most adorable little bunny ever. So... He was a little fussy, so now Gabriel is back there rocking him and bouncing him a little bit. He is totally asleep. Sorry about the light change. 
the sun went down really fast and we didn't even realize it was that quick so we had to turn the living room light on so when he wakes up in the morning or whenever he wakes up from a nap or if we come into the room and we start talking to him he immediately smiles because he recognizes our voice and I think he's starting to recognize our faces as well because when he sees us sometimes he just smiles and it's the cutest little smile and it's huge he is doing so well with tummy time he literally lays on his stomach and he can hold his head up for like a minute and just looks at everything he's just overall way more aware of his surroundings now so he's now finally grasping uh looking around and figuring out what's going on uh seeing our dog walk around he'll follow her around as well i mean he's just becoming very very aware of everything yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All of his surroundings, he's starting to kind of zone in on everything instead of just looking. He definitely stares at our faces and looks at every single little detail. So he sits up and he holds his head very well. He loves to sit up. Sometimes if he's not, he gets a little fussy and then once you plop him up, he is super happy. The only thing is his head is a little bit wobbly, which I'm assuming is because he does have that big noggin. Brain. Well, but he loves sitting up and we got him a little sit me up and he enjoys sitting in that but I think it slouches him a little too much so he doesn't like that. So his measurements, <coughs> let's talk about this big boy's measurements for a second. He is 28.4 inches long at four months old. That's insane. He's like half the size of me already. He is in the 99th percentile for height. Yeah, and he has been since he was born. So he was born at 22 and a half inches long. So his weight is 16.4 pounds, which puts him in the 50th percentile. The thing about his weight is he doesn't look super chubby because he is super long. So pretty much in about maybe a few weeks or whatever, if he grows another half inch, we have to upgrade his car seat to something bigger because our limit on our car seat is at 29 inches, so he will exceed that very quickly. Oh yeah, I didn't think he was 28 inches long and I was actually hoping to be able to get a lot more use out of the infant carrier, but apparently not. It's crazy when it comes to his height because one of the things that we were very concerned about was that he just didn't look chunky. And we were looking at all the other babies around his age, and they're all very chunky, mm -hmm. but I guess it makes perfect sense because he is so long in comparison to a lot of other uh, infants that he just he doesn't look chunky because of that, because he's just spread out all over. He was just more lean, because he's so stretched out from being tall. I think uh, by his second month, he actually looked like he was starting to get pretty chunky, and then, yeah. By month four, I guess he just decided to grow. I know, it's insane. At the end of this video, we'll put in the pictures from his one month, two month, three month, and then the ones that we just took right before this video. And you can see a little bit of the difference when he was two months to when he's three months because he put on a good amount of fat weight. What is your favorite thing about being a dad? I would say, I would say coming home from work and picking him up and him just staring at my face and then getting to see that huge smile on his face. Like, to me, that's awesome. There's really no words for that either. Yeah. That's kind of like when you have a dog and <clears throat> your dog is waiting for you at home and you come in and your dog's all excited to see you. That's pretty much Maximus's version of being excited to see you. Except it's different because we also have a dog as well, so. What's your least favorite part about being a dad right now? Hmm. I'm not really too worried about the sleep aspect and not getting as much as I used to get. Uh, I would say just being more overly concerned about everything, um, safety-wise and pretty much anything like now I can see someone driving down the neighborhood, speeding down, and in my mind, I get really angry and say, like, I could only imagine if Maximus was outside playing and he ended up getting hit by a car because 
some person was being reckless uh, driving down a residential neighborhood going 50, 60 miles per hour. Like that's that's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. One more thing is he's in size two diapers, but we're actually gonna be switching to size three soon. And we figured out our favorite brand is actually Loves. And lost away with my heart. No, I don't dance, but here I That was our four month update. Thank you for watching. Hopefully we told you everything that he's doing and all our little discoveries. But if we didn't, then feel free to ask. Yep. So go ahead and please like and subscribe and share if you could. Thank you guys for watching.